So here we are in our water heater closet. This is just your standard two element hot water heater running off of resistive elements. Thing kicks on and it's pulling about four kilowatts to heat water. It works, it does its job. However, the national average for like a four person family is that you spend about 400 bucks a year at our you know 10 cents a kilowatt hour to heat water for your family. Um, we have a water heater here that runs the laundry room, the kitchen, and um, uh, the dishwasher, the kitchen sink. Um, so this one's probably not under near as much load as the one upstairs that runs all the showers and baths and uh, vanity sinks and everything like that. But it, it's I wanted to look at it. Now the deal here is I identified the water heaters as being something that I want to look at and see can I do something more efficiently here. So obviously I can look at the national average 400 bucks say hey that's something I can look at. But what I really want to do is measure the actual usage. So I've grabbed this cool little tool off of Amazon. I'm gonna show you guys what it is, how much it costs, and how to install it, just the basics. Um, not exactly a, a beginning do-it-yourself where you're gonna be undoing some electrical connections, but you know it's like 13 bucks and will give you the data for something like this. Um, compared to say the, I think it's called the Sense, which you can install on your main panel. It sends all the data up to the cloud and it kind of extrapolates and says, you know, here's your water heater and here's your air conditioner, here's your refrigerator and says, this is how much you're using on each of those appliances. So that's cool, but it's like $250. A lot of people don't want to spend $250 and I didn't want to yet. I would still like to get something like that, but for now, I'm gonna do this. So let me show you guys what this looks like. All right, so here's what we've got. So in our upper left quadrant, that's the voltage that this guy is running, this water heater. It's on a um, 230 volt circuit. Um, top right is the number of amps that this unit is currently running at, which I believe is actually this, um, this little meter. It's using about 0 0.09 amps. Um, bottom left, number of watts. So that's just the amps times the volts up at the top. That comes out to 1.2. And then the bottom right is the number of watt hours. So for me, that's gonna be my big number. I've had this guy plugged in about 24 hours now. Um, when I plugged it in, I did turn the temperature up on the um, hot water heater at the same time. So this isn't a really great 24 hour reading for, for normal usage. However, it is a reading and I'll, I'll keep this on for a while and see how it does. So I've used almost four kilowatt hours in a 24 hour period. So if you extrapolate that out to about 10 cents a kilowatt hour, that's like 40 cents. And you put that over um, a month long period and that's like $11. So it's not looking like this water heater really costs us that much. Uh, so I might do some experiments on this water heater. However, to really get some savings, I'm probably gonna have to go to the water heater that runs the showers and the baths. But let me show you, now that I've shown you what this meter reads, um, how it's connected inside this panel. Okay, so we're back at the panel. You've noticed that I've turned the power off for the water heater. We're gonna stay safe here. So we've got four leads coming out of this unit. Um, and here's the little wiring diagram you've got, right? So these two leads up top, you'll see that they go to this here. And this is representing the donut that you'll see in a minute. And it runs, it's a little coil that runs around one of the lines that comes from the electrical panel. And then the bottom two leads here are connected to the two 240 volt AC leads in this case. So it'll run 80 to 260. So you could do this on 120 volt circuit too. I'm doing it on a 240 for this water heater. Um, so yeah, so that's why the four leads. So let me show you where those four leads go on this water heater. And I imagine just about every standard water heater is going to be like this. All right, so here's my little donut, right? Get that out of the way. All right, so the top two screws, so this one right here and this one right here are the two leads going back to the electrical panel. So between that is 240 volts AC. So what I've done is I've connected this meter one side to one nut and one side to the other nut. Now while I had that off, I slipped this donut onto this lead here, this black lead. So that allows me to measure the current that's coming through that black lead. So if, none, if neither of the elements are on, then that's not gonna see any current. 
and we'll be fine. We won't be reading anything. But this always gets power because it's connected to the always on leads. Um, so you'll notice that there's this yellow wire down here running to one side of the heating element. And then you've got a blue wire here that runs up. And it is only on when the thermostat's calling for heat. So when the temperature drops below the set point that is down here um, on the thermostat. So that is all you have to do for this. Um, very simple to set up and it says, we'll find out here in a second, it says that this will remember the watt hour readings after having been powered off. So we'll see if that is true. So let me uh, close this back up. We will turn the power back on. All right, power's back on and sure enough, it came right back to where we were at, 3,888. So it seems like a pretty neat meter. I still gotta go look at the instructions and see how to actually reset that number or if it just continues to climb until it reaches zero again. But there we have it. So I hope that was useful for someone. Definitely a cheap meter um, as opposed to one of the smart meters, which definitely have their place in this world. But I still think this one does too. It's a, it's a semi-smart meter. Um, so if you liked it, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. I've got some other projects that you may have already seen on this water heater working to heat water in a way that is much more efficient than a standard water heating element. So check me out for that. Thank you.